Following on from my last video, we've got the FUTIC FY21AP nicely installed in our Hobby King EPP FPV model. You'll see the, uh, the autopilot stability boxes here. It's on a little cradle that uh, conveniently fits between the sides with a bit of pushing, so this present, uh, prevents it from being vibrated too much by the motor. Our GPS system is down the back there, a little GPS and barometric sensor for our altitude hold and return to launch. Um, other bits and pieces, we've got the, um, the on-screen display box I've stuck just in there and there's currently a whole lot of wires here I'll be tidying up before I fly but um, I've also replaced the motor, I had the little uh, RC timer motor, nice little motor, it did the job quite well but now we're really loading this model up, it's getting quite heavy we've got batteries everywhere, we've got these new boxes, lots of wiring so rather than take a risk on overloading that little RC timer motor I found another Turnergy motor, just like the one I had last time that uh, wasn't quite so good it's a, what is it, a 3536 so, and it's a 1300 kV, I think, or 1400 kV. Turning the same prop as the little uh, RC timer motor, I've tried it out, this actually gives quite a bit more power, so it will have more lift. And to go with that, I've used a bigger speed controller, and it says I've put a 70 amp speed controller on the side, because the thing you don't want happening is your speed controller burning out if you're a long way from home, because then you'll never make it back. But we're all ready to go now. As you can see, the installation turned out to be a lot simpler than I'd hoped. One thing I've had to do also is, before I had two separate servos for the aileron, uh, two separate channels for the aileron servo. So now I've had to make a wire lead up for the ailerons and run them through one channel because the little box here only has one aileron servo connection. So you can't use two separate channels, unfortunately. But we'll go now and we'll set it all up, take it outside, make sure the batteries are charged, and we'll give it a throw. Okay, we're going to test fly the Hobby King FPV EPP model with the FY21 AP autopilot and return to launch. I'm going to compare how well the model flies with the autopilot or the stability system on and how well it flies without it. Right, I've got my JR9X11 with the FreeSky 2.4 system in it and I've set up two switches to control the uh, onboard autopilot. This one controls the stability mode so I can switch to stable like that or stable with altitude hold and this one controls return to launch or circle current position. Now I'll show you, I'll put it into stability mode and I'll pick up the model and show you what happens. The model rolls, see how the ailerons automatically correct? Same goes with pitch, if I put the model nose down, the elevator is in the up position, if I put it nose up, the elevator goes into a down position. So the onboard accelerometers and gyros are telling the model how to correct for any change in attitude that wasn't commanded by the pilot who is me. So now we'll put it up in the air and see if it works. I've got it set to RC mode at the moment so it's uh, nice and controllable for the takeoff. We'll get it up there, do a couple of circuits, then I'll show you the difference between the different modes. <laughs> At the moment I'm in the RC mode, the model's quite manoeuvrable, but it is getting buffeted around a bit because there's a lot of thermals about today. What I'm going to do, I'll do a turn, as you can see this is the RC mode, bit of wind. You see it loses height in the turn unless I use a lot of elevator. So what I'm going to do now is switch into stability mode, which it's in now. I'm going to do a pass down the strip in stability mode. I've cut the throttle right back. I want you to see how stable the wings are in this particular mode. I'm not touching the ailerons. There's a lot of turbulence. The model is pretty much rock steady in this turbulence. I'll switch back to RC mode and it gets far more buffeted around by the wind and the turbulence. Now what I'll do is, I will do a bit of a climb and I'll put the model into a steep turn I'm going to put the model into a steep turn without the stability system on and release the controls. Controls are released. Now the model remains in that quite tight turn as you can see. What I'll do now, is I'll do the same thing but I'll turn on the stability after I've entered 
the steep turn. Let's line it up to get it roughly the same place. And I'll tell you when I put stability on. As soon as the tight turn now, stability is on now. That leveled out all by itself. I didn't have to do anything, it leveled the wings immediately. Similarly, I'll keep it in stability mode, I shall put it in another tight turn, release the controls. Immediately back to straight and level, which is kind of good really. I'll do another low pass in the RC mode so you can see what the weather is like today. It's pretty turbulent. Okay, this is... You see the bottle's getting rocked around a bit by turbulence over the runway. Far more so than when I had stability on. But now what I'm going to do is fly away, get the model to fly back to me using the return to launch. It'll actually orbit over the hangar where I turned on the model to start with. Get a bit of altitude on, put the stability on so I'm not going to be bumped around so much by all these thermals. Now I'll switch to return to launch mode and immediately the model is turning on its own now. I'm no longer, you can pan to me, I'm no longer flying the model, I have the transmitter at arm's length, go back to the model and it should come back, circle overhead. My dad, I still haven't touched any of the sticks. The model is now circling all by itself. And to show you that, I can put the transmitter on the ground. The transmitter is now on the ground. The model is still circling our position. Flying a little bit of an ellipse because we've got a bit of wind today, so it's not necessarily a true circle, but it will orbit this position until I tell it to stop. So it's now done another complete circuit, and I'll now pick up the transmitter. Now I'll pick up the transmitter, I'll take control back again by flicking the switch here back to radio control. Now I have control again, I'll land the model. This time I'll leave the stability system on during the landing. By leaving the stability system on, the landing should be a lot smoother. I shouldn't have to worry so much about turbulence. Even though it's very, very rough up here. So there we have it, the AP21 works as advertised, it provides a great deal of extra stability for the Hobby King aeroplane and also it brings the model back when we decide it's gone too far or if something goes wrong as you've seen in one of my other videos on my XJet channel. Thank you for watching, that is the FY21 AP as reviewed by RC Model Reviews.